Reach Alrikstad. Reach Alrikstad. world. world.
Reach Alric's dad. world. world. Bag. Sk -sk. Melee. Plus 2.3 melee damage. Range. Range. Plus 2.3. Range. Health. Plus 5.2 health. Stealth. Plus 1. Way of the Raven. Melee. Plus. Me melee resistance. Plus. Stealth. Way of the Raven. Gives a bonus to all Raven aligned gear. Re health. Way of the Wolf. 
gives a bonus to all wolf aligned gear. Plus 1.0 Health, Way of the Ravens Mele Melee Resistance, Fate, Ability Damage Plus 1.7 Ability Damage Hold Left, Way of the Wolf Gives a bonus to all wolf aligned gear Plus 1.0 Attack Way, Melee Plus 2.3 Melee Way of the Wolf Range Resistance Plus Headshot Ability Damage Stun Plus Heavy Damage Plus 4 Range Resistance Plus 7 point Bag Quest Quest Rig Rig track birthright inventory invent bag shadow red fish animal heart mold oak club what or first order of the ancients medallion a medallion signifying its bearer's allegiance to the order of the ain a mild hunt rig jafilka horde map
Stretch your wings, Sunan. I need a challenger! Hi! Your clan is a foul stench, but we are strong, Ergi! Yes, strong with stink! Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said your stench is strong! That's your only strength! Your stench! I will feed your teeth, wrapped in your tongue, Bakrout! <laughs> Find and speak to Sigurd. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. You want me to join your brotherhood? A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. 
Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Room is there, in the camp ahead. Something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Evil! You Arka shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. It 
pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Kill him. You, you are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harald brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. 
Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I, s I do not know my fate. I am bound to Sigurd. I seek Valhalla. I am bound to Sigurd. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Okay. Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Find and speak to Sigurd. Christian ways. Quiet all. Give me a chance to speak. <laughs> Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward, to newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. 
of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. We take the resources to England. We leave the resources for Steerbjorn. We take the resources. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjörn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry? Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? It's time to go. I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, 
I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Urvalhalla! of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything?
You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you? Have a Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randvi! Take in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say well. Yes, I'm ready. 
ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? World. Not... Precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boat. Let's get in there. Over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Hey, what's the matter? <sighs> Control yourself! Guards here are vigilant. Release the naval chain.
this chain is huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Oh, I can see it now. Suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What the giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, unless they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. 
You'd best move along, Pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norsemen with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dad. It feels like home already. <laughs> Get rid of the bandits. Get I'll rid check of the, the bandits. House. Bag. Bur iron st bear claw. Bear bone biter. Irons. Varen's axe. Raider axe. Bear bear claw. Superior. Explore the area. Explore the area. Nice trap. Might be something inside. I'll have a look. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! 
Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable, to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. 
If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else? Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Hold left. Settling. Settling down. Skips. Fate. Light attack damage. Evasion. Plus four. Backstab. Landing a blow directly on an enemy's back will inflict increased defense damage and cause them to stagger. Rain headshot. Plus 2.0. Stealth recon. Automatic. Stomp. When an enemy falls to the ground, health. Plus 5.0. Raid location icon monastery raids. And your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last, we will crack these Christian monasteries can't raise like the a row here. of hen's eggs. Shall the Saxons know we are here, though? The monastery run up the sail. Ah, and nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Sail! Catch the wind! Find resources to build Gunnar's forge. Not 
can't hold out much longer. I'll have your power out. Take your last breath. Help me with this. That is all we need for Gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. That's enough! Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Can't do this alone.
world. Settling down. Hold left. Set settling down. Settling down. Settling down. Hey, Lord, hey, Lord. This was a good day and some fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor! World. Und my count. Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah. There were barely a dozen when we arrived. Oh, no, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. Dock the ship here. We can continue. Back so soon. Blacksmith. Gunnar's Forge is where you enhance and customize. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Building the settlement. Gain access to unique services, settlers, quests, and more by constructing build- <laughs> Hello, and well met. I want to upgrade my gear. May I see your stores? Blacksmith. Is that what Hunnish you want? Bow. Fine hunter bow. Punish bow. Well. Fine hunter. Blacks punish bear cloak. Iron star. Raven clan cloak. Fine bers berserker armor. Bone biter. Fine Dane axe. Punish berserker bracers. Done for now. I want to upgrade my exit I have to go. What do you do he Exit I have- I'm off. Be well, friend. Put that gear to good use out there. The Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories. Hey, boy! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together. As ever. So get acquainted with your room, 
And when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Letterbox for messages and requests. Read exit. Lee, read. Sigurd's letter. Press E close. Ivor. I hope. Ravensthorpe. Ravensthorpe status. Mm, not Encampment. Much, Press E but close. It is mine. at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But why now? Doug, please. This must be the... What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. River raids available. A new activity has become available. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but... If you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable. Ah, there you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. Alliance table show me the alliance map. I want to see the alliance map. Alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, 
your clan must forge alliances. Territory pledged icon pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed and allies are made, other territories will be made available. Grant a bridge a sire. Let assess. Grant a bridge a sire. Eligible. Grant a. Tell me about Grand Abridge. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grand Abridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will pledge to grant a bridge a sire. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Hold, hold, hold left mouth. The Great Scattered Army, not synchronized. The Great Scattered Army. Ivor sets out to find the leader of the Summer Army and form an alliance. Hi, Thum. Randui asked me to see you, about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, your... But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. To liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Hidden Ones Bureau. Hold enter. Hold enter build. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will. For we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? Quest I am ready. I will. Lead on. I hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basin. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation.
Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you... Yeah! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague. One we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same. A land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. 
From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchant, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. Order. Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans that has infiltrated every level of society to spread their dogmatic zealots. Unveil and eliminate. Order hierarchy. Leave Gafu. Press space. Press press this. Letter. Read Norvid's note. Norvid's note. Yarn blood tooth. Letter. Re letter. Suniva's note. Blood tooth. Press E close. A circus Ivor. make fierce foes. The gods a curse us. Allies. A the Saxon abbess named Wolfhilda has arrived in a small village on the western outskirts of East Anglia, spreading tales of a fearsome monster. I should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. Bag. Qu quests. Or or. Hun Hunter. Prep. Le press space. Pr pr K Kjot the cruel. P press escape back. S -s Backstab. Landing a blow directly. Rain. Stealth recon. S stealth. Ability. Stomp. Way. Way of the bear. Gives a bonus to all. Melee. Pl Perfect attack. Press left mouth. Light bow combo. Consecutive shots with a light bow deals extra damage. Adre adrenaline fiend. When. Arrow Looter. Ivor has a greater chance of looting arrow. Longship Brace. In, in the bag. Hunnish Bow. Superior Hunter Bow. Hunnish Bow. Superior Hunter Bow. Press left mouse button equip. Hold right mouse button upgrade. Berser Berserker Armor Raven Clan Berserker Armor Superior Tor Raven Clan Armor Berserker Armor Berser War Qua Hold Revent the greats, the mysterious, a fiend up, a break, tracked quest, a brief hit, a the mysterious berserker. A mysterious berserker has appeared.
Hello there, friend. Bag. Berserker hood. Raven clan cloak. Fine cloak. Berserker hood. Bers Berserker hood. Superior cloak. Ra Raven Berserker armor. Soup Raven clan armor. Berserker armor. Superior torso. Press. Hunish bow. Hunish bow. Superior hunter bow. Press left mouse button unequip. Quiver upgrade. Ration upgrade. Ra Berserker bridges. Superior pants. Press left mouse button unequip. Ber Berserker bracers. Off we go! We must row in these waters. Good sailing wind here, Avon. Sail out! Yeah. Who will share a tale? Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Ayid. A brooding warrior with a face Sing of stone and an old card up. We need an epic tale. Some time ago, I met a wandering skald in search of a jarl or king to serve. He had not composed a verse in years, and was fearful of losing his skill. I said I knew many such great men. A few jarls, a handful of kings by name. Green sail. But to my knowledge, all of them had many skulls of their own. This poor skald was disappointed, and thanked me for my time, oh, my asking eyes. my name as he departed. Dog Nithison, I told him. The skald's eyes went wide. Dog Nithison, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I nodded and said, Save it for later. Randvi mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army.
Let the sail out! World A fiend out, a fiend out of hell Run up the sail! Hush now. Find and speak to Wolf Hilda. We know it's the Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? I did not touch your herd. Souls are making this worse. These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. 
But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there's a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the Maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. You there! What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun, as great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Grendel. A Jotun did this. I saw it. All big and hairy, staggering across the moor. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? Investigate the mauled livestock. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. Investigate the mauled livestock. Investigate the mauled livestock. By the gods. What manner of beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom? What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Rothgar and his band of Danes. Were the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. Or... worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolf Hilda. Wolvilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers, and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? 
This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most art. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek. The wolves get a bite of you. No, I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I misjudged you. No need, but tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No, but I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church by Grizzly Farm. Come. Meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wilhilda, and an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Rothgar, 
Ingvar and his men. They... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. See, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields on the cows. The villagers say it is the devil's mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say Explore find the, the mold to look for and find our killer. The same marks as before. Bite marks and mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? Uh. Eivor, look out. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft. Or dragged the body up there. sometimes slept in the loft. Have you looked up there? Explore the church to look for Hrothgar. Tap. T tattered letter. Press E close. Mildred. We are fleeing to North... Explore the church to look for Hrothgar. Explore the church to look for Hrothgar. Explore the church to look for Hrothgar. You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. 
What was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Hailheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. There were two. Let's hide to not scare the demon off when it returns. We will wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Stars. Grendel only want to play. You make Grendel hurt. Mama, I want to go home. By all that is holy and bright, what manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this... Grendel is... was... a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. Oh Lord, forgive this man his sins and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love mold everywhere stay here Wolfhilda. i'll follow this trail eternal rest grant unto them O lord and let perpetual light shine oh. Randall must world. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May all these souls rest in peace. Grendel must have tracked this mold here. But from where? More mold. I'm on the right path. Show me. The 
source of the mold must be near. Zunin, guide me. world. Explore Grimace Graves. Explore Grimace Graves. The Reek. Tattered Diary, press E close, my Grendel thrives in Explore Grimace Graves Musty Diary Explore Grimace Graves. Explore Grimace Graves. My head swims with fever dreams. What just happened? Randolph! Randolph! Is that you? Answer me! A key? So fitting. Yet, what use is a key with? No luck. You lied about the Danes. To protect my boy. He never meant to hurt anyone. But the others, they could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. Sweet little Grandpa. Well, Pilda must know the truth of this.
speak to Wolf Hilda. 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 Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhilda. Make it a good tale. The Mysterious Berserker, A New Home.
attract quest. Go! World. World. Not under. Hold left mouse button fast travel. The mysterious berserker. Quests. Tr a new home. Revent. The great scattered army. Tr the great scattered. Revents Thorpe. World. The grip not synchron hold left hold left mouse button. Be my eyes, Sunan. Magni's report. Six without weapons. It's no way to die. That's true wow. Christian behavior. Slaughtered us in our sleep. Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> 